Hi guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of consciousness versus subconsciousness. Well, what is that exactly? Well, it's whatever you are doing consciously versus whatever you're not doing consciously. And if you think about it, it's, the subconscious would be something like breathing. Everybody breathes. Or your stomach gets hungry and or your heart is beating or you're, you're sweating like now I'm sweating because it's hot or you can be cold. Um, it's all these things that are happening within your brain, but you're not really thinking about all these things at the same time, even like uh, looking left, right. It's, it's all subconscious. It's, you can hear things, things can, uh, the, fly, uh, the fight or flight response, all these things. A lot of them are, are subconscious. But now what is conscious? Well, it's the things, the, the, the actions that you take in life, um, it's uh, the difference between uh, good or evil because again it's conscious it's your way of thinking it's uh, the responsibilities that you decide to take a lot of it it's, it's basically a lot of the conscious is basically uh, pretty much done by decisions that are made within the pathways of your brain and I'm kind of referring as the brain is in third person saying pathways but at the same time really if you think about it uh, we all do subconscious things within our consciousness and we all um, react to things differently and do things differently but at the same time it's important to kind of understand really what is conscious and what is unconscious because um, a, lot, a lot of things in this world how can I say animals for example they're very um, instinctual and we are animals too because we're mammals but if you take you no know, man's best friend be it cat or dog whatever you prefer if you love both they can both be man's friend but animals often they they rely on instinct and we also do rely on instinct a lot too and it comes from fears and a lot of things but they're more in the moment so that means that they will smell something they will do something they will uh eat they will poop they will sleep uh, everything's pretty much in the moment uh, without thinking too much about the consequences although they do think animals do think it's just that they think kind of differently than us they um, as mentioned they just think instinctually and they do know like for example if um, let's say you put uh, some food on the table and you were to um, simply tell them don't eat it and then you go away they'll probably stay there a little while trying not to look at it or something and then at one moment or another they probably won't be able to resist and they'll uh, they'll simply eat it and that's the funny part because <laughs> well they are thinking about the consequence that they don't want to do bad but eventually the, the instinct kind of takes over but then at the same time i think they do have that instinct of like the, the maternal instinct you know where for example, if you have kids, most animals have that, where uh, if they feel in danger, even some animals do eat their their uh, little babies. But at the same time, realistically, the the things the the creatures um, do to try to nurture, and we instinctually, like we'll want to do good, I think, in a lot of sense. But it can easily kind of betray us sometimes when. Um, well, when there's sometimes uh, things that basically happen that are better off left uh, done because, you know, we look at ourselves and think about it like, oh, well, I, I want to have this right now. So we might do something bad in order to basically profit from it. And that's a lot of times what happens um, on Earth. And that's why things like communism and all that don't usually often really work because even though everybody's supposed to be equal there's always going to be somebody that's that's not really correct there's always somebody that's there's always somebody that doesn't accept there's always somebody that wants to do things in one way or another there's always something there's always somebody there's always things that can go wrong because basically um, we are greedy as human beings and that happens within 
basically everything happens really within uh, the animal world as well as the human world which is still the animal world but we are in some way those conscious beings that need to be able to think a little bit more and not let the unconscious take over because if we do let the unconscious take over well then we uh, we go into uh, craziness because laws will not be abided things will not be abided uh, people will not um, do the right things taxes won't be paid uh, bills will not be paid uh, you know people will kill each other and that's what's happened sometimes in uh, in countries that are really really poor where it's just so bad for them that out of desperation people uh, do a lot of crazy things basically just in order to survive in some way or another but yes yeah, human beings we need to take care of the conscious and kind of overtake it compared to the unconscious but not everything unconscious is bad like i said if we did, weren't unconsciously having our heart beating or uh, eating or digesting or all these things there would be a lot of bad things happening to ourselves too but it's just something to be aware of and something to think about and something to take into consideration and hopefully make your life better by knowing all these things well that's it soft sound subject have a great day and i'll see you in the next video bye